Hey there, it's Clumpkin. I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, today's topic is going to be about getting over what never truly started. So, a little bit of background. Um, this is actually a topic I do have, like, I, I actually do have, like, a good bit of experience with. And I feel, right now, um, I feel like I'm at, like, a comfortable enough point in my life where I feel like I have can find, like... I've truly gotten over the thing and then I can kind of share like how, you know, like what I did, you know, and um, yeah, this video idea actually came from uh, Instagram in a way, because if you know, Instagram has like for people you follow uh, and they follow you back, there's this feature called the notes. And people can post, like, whatever they want. Like, they can share whatever they want on notes. I mean, like, it extends to just pictures, musics, music, and words. But, um, someone had on their note, uh, how do I get over something that never even started? And when I read that, I was like, holy, like, I, I know. Like, I, I've been through that exact thing, you know? Um, and actually, unfortunately, I did not, uh, give my advice to them which I, I was very hesitant to do and i i just wasn't sure if it would have been welcomed advice you know but um but but it made me think like you know what what did i do what could i if i were to talk to this person what would i say to them like how would i describe my efforts to get over what truly never happened um and, like, this is sounding super vague. I mean, like, relationships. I mean, like, to get over somebody even though you never dated or anything, right? You're just getting over somebody that the possibility, right? You're getting over the possibility. Um, so, yeah, I mean, where do we start? I'm asking you as if I don't know the answer, but I do. So, um, yeah, it is... Let me just first say, it's a lengthy process. I mean, this is just for me personally. It might not be everybody. You could get over people quickly, you know? I think, like, if you do get over people quickly, you probably wouldn't even have the problem of trying to get over somebody that you never were even affiliated with anyway. But, whatever. So, um, yeah, the first thing... First thing I did, uh, even if, like... So there's different uh, scenarios with this, right? Um, I say one scenario is that um, you're just having like a hard time getting over, like you've already been rejected or whatever, and you're having a hard time getting over them still. Uh, this is what my experience is, right? This is what this is what I did, you know, to do that. Uh, but another experience or another version of this is um never getting the chance to say anything and then seeing them later uh be with somebody else which i actually thinking about it right now i also have experience with that anyway <laughs> um so uh the first thing you do um i think just trying to find closure i'm not i'm not i i won't put an order to this because i don't really know what should be coming first uh, I don't really know the proper steps of, like, what you should be doing first to get the most, like, to just get everything, like, off your chest and, like, your best efforts to try and release yourself from the grip that this person has on you, right? Um, so, my first instance, right, what I did was this, I just confessed how I felt. And then I got rejected, right, as you do, it happens, it's life. And then, um... You know, I still had trouble um, trying to, you know, really come to the terms that somebody that I was so infatuated with had, like, didn't want anything to do with me, right? So, I just kind of took to, like, trying to express my thoughts and feelings just anywhere, right? So, uh, I talked to my friends, if they would humor me and listen, um, I talked to... Literally anybody that could listen, but I also, it is, um, I started journaling about it and just, just merely as like a place to put down my thoughts and feelings. Right. Uh, and that actually helped for a while. 
um, it doesn't help, like, it's not a guarantee, you know, I feel like writing about your feelings can only do so much, you have to verbally express them too, but, um, yeah, that really did, journaling really did help, um, I really, I, tr for this first instance, I really did, like, everything under the sun that you can think of, um, you know, I, I talked, I wrote, I drew, I expressed my feelings in every, or like, I tried to get, I tried to get things off my chest in all, visibly every form of art. <laughs> yeah, not really, not really every form, but a lot of forms. Um, it's just like, I tried to express myself in a lot of different forms just to try and get that stuff off of me, right? And for the most part, it did work. Um, but one thing that helps ultimately is just pure closure from the person. So... Uh, this is a little embarrassing, and I don't like talking about it because I'm ashamed. Uh, I am ashamed of, of myself in this situation, but whatever. So, the first person, that we're still on the same person here. Uh, first instance, we'll say first instance. Um, I, uh, never, um, even after the rejection, I never unfollowed their socials, which, big mistake, if you do get rejected, do that. Uh, it makes it so much easier, and it is torturing yourself. Unluckily for me, I like torturing myself. Uh, but besides the point. So, yeah, unfollow their socials, like, right away, as soon as you can, if you get rejected. Um, but if you're dumb, like me, and you stay following them, uh, and torture yourself, you know, I, after a while... Because, like, here, here's, here, and I'm, like, I had a, I try to put myself in other people's shoes, right? So, one, one October day, I realized that I was, like, blocked. And then I was, like, oh, like, oh, whoa, I'm blocked. Whoa, that's weird, right? And then I was, like, went through, like, all the, like, oh, sh did I do something wrong? Like, holy, like, what the hell? And then I kind of, like, I sat down with it. And I was kind of, like, well, like, let me, um... Let me try and think of this in, in her perspective, right? This guy you rejected is still following you and still interacts with your posts, even though you've made it very clear that you don't feel anything, you don't want to associate with them in that way, right? Like, I, that is the natural response, right? So I, I thought about it that way. And I was like, oh, shit. I was a real, like, I was a creep. That was really weird of me. I, that, oh, ew. You know, I was being creepy. And um, so I wrote uh, an apology, which I it could she could have been the exception. You know, like, I, I don't know how other people would take that, especially if you get blocked for, you know, not kind of, um, I don't know. But I wrote her an apology, uh, like over, like I DM'd her. And I was like, hey, uh, I'm really sorry. That I, that I was super fucking creepy of me. And thank you for blocking me. That like really opened my eyes because I was like, that was really weird. And I overstepped boundaries. I'm really sorry. And then she was like, yeah, you know, I forgive you. I get it. You know, um, I was like, oh, cool. So just trying to get, <laughs> that was a huge ramble, but trying to get closure is probably the, the best thing, right? That's really like the number one thing you can do is just trying to get closure either in some other way or just by talking to them like i what really would have helped me and this is just me personally this could i guess hurt other people but what would have would have helped me was seeing them with someone else just so i can know that there's no chance of it right uh i didn't have that but what you know that that can help too i mean i i don't know if that would hurt you more but it could it would have helped me it might have it might help you just to see them with somebody else and see how they're happy and, you know, um, because ultimately if you care for somebody, you want them to be happy, right? But yeah. And then the second instance, um, this one, it goes more with the one where you never said anything and you just kind of have to sit with the fact that you, it's just too late and you will never say anything ever. Um, this one wasn't as bad, not for me at least, um, I, I think I got over it just kind of like naturally over time. It didn't take nearly as long 
as as the other one. But um, yeah, it like it did not take nearly as long to get over as as the other one. But um, yeah. So for the one where I I never said anything, uh, and this is why I figured that seeing the person in a happy relationship would help, was because I, you know, like I. Not this not to believe that I even had a chance. Let's be real here. But um like I just saw like that they were already like they were in a relationship now and that they were happy and that they were with somebody else that hopefully made them happy, right? And that was just kinda like that's like my indication be like, okay, I just need to like put this shit away. I just need to like lock in and like I just need to stop. And for the most part that, that works. I've never had it not work, you know, where you just kind of like really tell yourself to lock in and be like, okay, you gotta, you gotta stop. Uh, that that's worked. So I really hope it works for you too. If, if you're even having trouble with this, if you're not good for you, <laughs> I get stuck on people for a while. Uh, and it kind of fucks with me, but anywho, and then I also have a third, third thing you can do. Um, well, I've said a lot of things, but like, this is like, whatever, the third thing I'm about to say, um, finding someone else, right? Like that there's completely, that actually was part of the reason I like even fully got over one of the, one of the, I'm just going to say situation. I feel weird calling it a situation, but wow. Okay. I got, whoa, I got headshot. All right. Yeah, like, you find, you find, you eventually find somebody, right, that cares about you and you care about them as well, and it just kind of makes everything easier. Now, what I'm not saying here is that you deliberately try and find somebody for the purpose of getting over them or getting over someone else. Don't do that. That's not good. Never, never do that. Never, like, I cannot make this clear enough. Do not go after somebody for the purpose of of you getting over somebody else. Don't do that. That's just going to hurt everybody. It's especially going to hurt the person that you're going after. Like, just don't, don't do that, please. This isn't from personal experience. I just feel like this is just like a, like a sense thing, you know, just don't, don't do that, <laughs> please. For whatever you do, don't do that. But yeah, anyway, uh, I got shot in the head in Fortnite, so <laughs> I don't really have much else to talk about, but yeah, I, I hope this helped. Um, I tried to add some like lightness to this because like I could easily, you know, I don't know. I, I don't want to be like mopey and sad about this shit because like there's no point. But yeah, if you're if you're having trouble getting over somebody that you just never like, you know, uh, we've all been there. At least I have, and I hope this helped you a little bit. And maybe you put some things to work, you know, try some things, you know, I know I really got into, um, self-improvement over the, over the first, first situation I was in, I, I really got into self-improvement. I was doing the whole, that's why I kind of started journaling. It wasn't only for the purpose of trying to put my feelings somewhere, but like, because I saw all these self-improvement people, they were like journaling and shit. And, um, I was like, well, I should try that. You know, I got into fitness. Uh, I started eating healthier, you know? Um, so, hey man, rejection can be a great thing, you know, it really makes you want to lock in on yourself, and I think I will be forever grateful that I was rejected, because I don't think I'd be the person I was today, I don't even think I'd have this, uh, like, I wouldn't even have some topics for this YouTube channel, you know, I feel I am inevitably a wiser person, could I have been wiser? Maybe, but like it i'm happy where i'm at you know so always be grateful for where you are and yeah that was dumb but anyway thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you all next week don't forget to tell somebody you love them and thank you all so 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 much for watching this silly little video and yeah later